Hey everyone, this is Saitam and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use I'm GUI inside Cheat Engine using C I'm GUI. A powerful I'm GUI wrapper made specifically for Cheat Engine that lets you use modern I'm GUI inside your tools. Whether you're making a debugger or an analysis tool, C I'm GUI brings you the entire power of I'm GUI. And with that said, let's get into the video. So first and foremost, what is C I'm GUI? C I'm GUI is a plugin that essentially lets you use I'm GUI inside of Cheat Engine. And some of its benefits are the real-time updates you get with I'm GUI, the modern styling as you have access to the entirety of I'm GUI, including the styling options, and a very extensive widget library. Now, how do we actually install C I'm GUI? Well, as it turns out, it's actually quite simple. I've already gone ahead and downloaded the zip file from the thread, and all we need to do is we need to put this DLL file into Cheat Engine's plugins folder. And the way we do that is quite simple. We go over to the start menu, we search for Cheat Engine, we open its file location, again select it and open its file location, navigate to the plugins folder, and at this point, all you need to do is to just drag the C I'm DLL file into the plugins folder. Click continue, and here we go. To verify that it's been successfully installed, you can go over to memory view, tools, and Lua engine, or you can simply press Control L on your keyboard. And at this point, what we can do is to create a simple test window. And the way we do that is by going local form equal to I'm GUI, and then we can do find or create form and give it the argument test a window. And then we can call form.show on this form that we just created and give it the argument true and click execute and we can see that our test window is indeed popped up. Now at this point we can actually go ahead and create our first actual UI and from this point forward I'm going to be using VS Code but you can use the built-in editor on CE. So what we can do just like the first example we can do local form equal to I'm GUI underline find or create form and let's give it the argument my first C I'm GUI app and we can do form dot set size and can give it 300 and 400 and let's also go ahead and add text using form dot text so local label equal to form form dot add text and let's give it the label welcome to C I'm GUI and now we can actually go ahead and add a button so now we can do local button equal to form dot add button again very similar to add text and give it the label say click me and since this is lua we need to give it a callback and the way we do that is by passing in a lambda to on click so we can do button dot on click equal to function then do sender and let's just go ahead and print button click to the console so we can do print button clicked and let's actually make sure that this is print and let's go ahead and end the function and at this point we can do form dot show equal true or rather we can pass true to show now at this point we can just take this go over back to ce and do control l paste it in click execute and you can see that we do indeed have our window if you do click me we can see this text printed in the console as well and if you click it multiple times again we see it printed multiple times as you would expect now at this point we can go ahead and add a checkbox so we can do local checkbox equal to form dot add checkbox and let's give it a label name enable feature feature let's say and much like the previous one we do need to define a callback right so let's just copy paste this down here checkbox and let's just print checkbox clicked and let's make sure that this is a string and let's end the function so at this point we can go over and take this to cheat engine and all you have to do is just paste it in and click execute and here we go right so we have enable feature and if you click that we can see that it says checkbox clicked and if we click on the button, we can see that it says button clicked. Now, one of C on GUI strengths is how closely it mirrors the original on GUI API. This window should be very familiar to you if you've used on GUI before. And the similarities aren't just in the UI, they are actually present in the code as well. So just like you would with on GUI, you can go over to widgets and expand basics. And the workflow with on GUI is that you usually look for strings in the actual demo file, right? And I have the code pulled up right here. And all we need to do is to say, look for hold to repeat, right? So I'm gonna do control F, hold to repeat. And here we go, right? This is the text, this is the counter, and these are the buttons that correspond to these two. And if I scroll up, you can see the color buttons and these functions should be familiar to you. These are just color conversion functions directly from Omgui. So if we go over to Omgui's side, you can actually see this whole to repeat text here too. And this basically translates to us making a text object, setting its text, and then creating that counter, and then on the same line, creating the two buttons. These two correspond to the hour buttons, and these functions on Omgui's side are just some 
some thin wrappers around the button API. The key difference this library has is because of Lua, callbacks play a very huge role since you just cannot replicate the same stack based structure in Lua. And you can clearly see how closely these two resemble each other. So we have the same widget types, you have the same top down left to right layout system, you have the exact same styling options and similar function names, but then again, adapted for Lua. If you go ahead and take this string and go over to on GUI side, you can actually just directly search for it. And you can see this widgets basic combo. And if you go over back to the demo and use this drop down, you can see the AAA, the BBB, the CCC, essentially the exact same things we see here as we do on on GUI side. And see on GUI provides a plethora of widgets, right? They are the exact same as on GUI. So you have buttons, regular, small, colored, you have text, again, plain, colored, or wrapped, you have checkboxes, you have input text, you have input number, input slider, and input drag, just like on GUI, you have panels like child windows, you have drop downs like examples, and we can even go ahead and inspect these two. And these are all great examples on how to use this library, just like on GUI. And this is all interactable, so you can use add input text, add debugger, clear, copy, and so on and so forth. Now if you scroll down, you can see that a lot of these are grayed out, because the actual demo file on on GUI side is over 10,000 lines of code, and that would just take a very long time to replicate in Lua. But the point is that you could if you wanted to. It also goes without saying that at any point in your scripts, you actually do have access to Cheat Engine's internals. So everything that you'd be able to call from Cheat Engine's Lua API is also accessible when using C on GUI. Another very useful example is actually the main form file. And this will show you exactly how this library is supposed to be used. And just like last time, you're just going to search for strings. So I see scan type here. I can just go over here and search for scan type. And I can immediately spot that, oh, hey, there is a text here. And then right next to it, there's going to be a drop down and so on and so forth. Again, from the very top, it's very obvious that this library does use on GUI's layout system. So again, top to bottom, left to right. Here is another way of setting your width and height. In the basic widgets example, we use set size. You can also do this explicitly. That's also fine. And you can just go ahead and scroll through this demo to just learn from it. Even though it's not exactly functional, it's still a great learning resource. And some of the quirks you have to look out for, and these are all documented, obviously, is that you have to wait until you actually can load the font or rather until cheat engine is able to load the font if you are using any custom fonts you can see the same invisible label system here that i'm GUI uses where you, you can use two hashtags and that'll basically create an invisible label only used internally by i'm GUI. so now let's go over something more practical a network traffic monitor for game hacking that uses hardware breakpoints. And the premise of this tool is very simple. It essentially breakpoints these three APIs and whenever they are called, it grabs their arguments and displays them to you using the library. And you can see over on the demo window that whenever I click enter, there's actually a new entry added here with the packets. So I'm sending the packet hello cheat engine and it is able to intercept that and show it to you alongside its bytes. So just to go over how this demo works briefly, it essentially just creates a socket using this target ID and this target port, which are obviously not real. And it essentially serves to just call these functions. So we see create IO completion port, we see socket, and most importantly, we see send right down here with our message, hello cheat engine. And if you look back at the tool, you can actually see these arguments. So this is the socket, this is the buffer address, this is the length of the buffer, and this is the flag that we are passing in. All of these correspond exactly to these entries. And then here is our hex dump. Now to briefly go over the tool's code, it basically operates on just setting breakpoints and grabbing arguments. In its core, it's actually quite simple. Here I'm using the pcal in Lua to call debug remove breakpoints. And up here, I'm actually using debug set breakpoints to obviously set the breakpoints. And these are actually included in Cheat Engine. So these have nothing to do with ARM GUI. The actual ARM GUI setup can be found just looking for ARM GUI and scrolling down essentially. So here, for example, I'm setting the process ID to green. And if we go back here, we can actually see that the process ID is indeed green. If it's attached, if it's not attached, it's going to be red as outlined here. And again, right next to that, as per same line, we can see the same thing going on for debugger active. Now this tool does work for 64-bit and 32-bit. So whatever application you're using, if it's using WS2 send, this will be actually a very helpful tool to have. Now this tool is also quite easy to use. The most important part is that you need to be running Cheat Engine in admin mode 
and you need to be able to attach a debugger and place breakpoints in whatever process you are trying to analyze, essentially. So as per usual, attach your process, go over to memory view, and here, before you actually go over to the Lua side, you do want to place a couple of breakpoints just to make sure the debugger is actually attached. It is a limitation of Chin Engine that you cannot really do this in Lua reliably, so you have to do this part manually. It helps to use the keybind, so all you need to do is to just select a line and press a 5, press a 5 again to remove the breakpoint, move on to the next line, press a 5, remove, press a 5, remove, and now at this point, you can go over back to tools, Lua Engine, or just Control L, take the code and paste it in, click execute, and as long as you see debugger active and this process ID is green, you are probably fine. Just in case, you can do test system, and sometimes it'll claim that it cannot place breakpoints, but it actually can. Again, this comes down to an unreliability with Cheat Engine, not C on GUI. So we can do start monitoring, and as long as you see hardware breakpoint set on these APIs, you are fine. Now I'm going to go over to the demo, press enter, and we can see the entry is showing up right here. This was our text, this was our return, this, these are our flags, and these two are the other two APIs. So just to recap, this library brings modern UI development to Cheat Engine, so you are now no longer stuck with forms. This makes it very easy to create professional tools. Obviously, a link to the documentation is attached in the description alongside all of these examples. And yeah, thanks for watching.